we're in the booth now, booth number one, and this is uh, the vocal booth. Uh, we obviously have a large studio area where like a whole band could set up, but this this area here is probably for vocals or uh, any sort of like subtle type sounds like acoustic guitar or something like that, which might be needed to be kept separate from the band. Um, and from this booth, you can maintain eye contact with your producers and engineer, so it's very intimate. Uh, but there, there was a certain amount of... Uh, you know, work that's involved in making this an isolated space. So maybe Ariel can tell us about like what work did you put into the walls here and especially the glass between the control room and the studio uh, to deal with the fact that we need to have isolation. Well, we used uh, treated glass. Uh, we used uh, something called Roxel, mm -hmm. which is a great insulator for sound and sound bearing. Uh, we also wanted to keep the whole uh, design uh, some, somewhat inviting, so we used some different, as you can see, uh, materials and colors, and that's pretty yeah, much the painting is pretty cool. Things. You can see the sorts of motifs that are going on here are colorful. Um, on a regular basis, there's more sort of light in this studio than a lot, even though there aren't a lot of windows like to the outside world. It does feel a little brighter than most studios. Uh, and also, I'd like to talk about our mic selection here. We're looking at one of our uh, better microphones, a new, all the mics here are new. Everything here is new, as a matter of fact. Uh, but this is a new Neumann uh, uh, U87 microphone, large diaphragm condenser mic with uh, switchable polar patterns, filter, and a pad. It's just about the most industry standard vocal mic. We also have two new C414s, um, C451s, those are AKG small diaphragm condenser mics, SM81s, 421s, and SM57s, and, and pretty much a whole slew of mics for, for live recording. But uh, it's a very functional booth and uh, nice and intimate.